Good afternoon, everyone, and I've got my wife in the back garden yard. She wanted to help harvest these carrots. So we're having a carrot harvest today, and we're just going to go to it. You have to get these carrots before they bloom or they'll they'll get hard and they won't taste good and these are perfect these are not the long carrots but they're the fat carrots and let's see let's see what we got so far oh my goodness this one. oh that's a Two. Two of them wrapped around each other. <laughs> Let's see. For the camera. So we got a, a lot of carrots here. We still got a good many more, and there's some behind us. So. Well, I found that my green beans, my pole beans, are being decimated by the dreaded Japanese beetles. So now, I have got to... Uh, I'll show them to you. They're hard at work here. There he is. Japanese beetle. They like to stay up top for some reason. And that's to their detriment. Because I've got something for them. And I'll be back with it in just a minute. Okay, so here I have what I call my beetle clappers. And they're just two flat boards between two sticks. And it, they take care of the problem really quickly. eliminated 10 or 15 of them. I, I don't see any more. I know there's more there. More will come in. But these really work. Uh, they're definitely non-toxic to the uh, plant, so I don't want to be spraying them because the pole beans are starting to bear. And they take care of the problem. And they're also good for Joro spiders. Now, Joro spiders are kind of a new invasive uh, pests that came in once again from I think from Asia and they're all over the uh, southeast and these are great for eliminating Joro spiders and we've already got the Joro spiders I'll probably do a video on uh, Joro spiders pretty soon because there's nothing worse than walking out here to pick your vegetables and suddenly you get a face full of Joro spider that's not a good thing. So anyway, now I'll get back to what I originally came out here for, and that was to pick the green beans. So folks, this is the 23rd of June, and I last picked the green beans on the 19th of June. And uh, they were just loaded with little green beans. Well, the little green beans have now grown up, and they've turned into the big green beans. Let's see if I can show them to you. So anyway, I have a feeling I'm going to get just about as many green beans from this picking as the five and a half pounds that I got for the second picking. So let's give it a try and uh, you want to come in here and you want to get them all. You don't want to leave any. That'll make them bloom again. Right now they... They got so many, they're not blooming a lot. There's a good many blooms and little ones.
So once again, folks, uh, I'm getting a bumper crop of beans off of these. You can see these are the ones I'm about to pick, and then you can see these are coming. What you don't see are a lot of flowers. So I'm hoping that uh, they'll come up, and once I get all these off, it'll stimulate them to put uh, another batch of flowers up here and make some more small ones. Um, and anyway, this is the third picking, and it's gonna be a good one. I can show you what I've got. I've still got to go from here to the end. And so far I've got this many, which once again feels like about three pounds. So I'm gonna probably get four or five pounds this time also. I got uh, five and a half last time. Okay, folks, so this is the same plant I just showed you. There's one I can pick. And what we do is we clean pick them. Those that watch regularly know that's I harp on this all the time, but if you'll clean pick them, then what's going to happen is it's going to send more shoots up. It's going to bloom. It's going to make more of these little beans. And then in three or four days, there'll be a new crop. So I'm leaving, of course, the little beans on, and they'll be four days. I'll be picking those. Now, there's not as many on these plants uh, this time as there was the last time, and I can always tell how big the next crop's going to be by what I see still hanging. But there's still going to be a fourth crop for sure, and hopefully another crop after that. They will start dwindling as the plants mature because that's just the nature of growing bush beans. But of course, I've got all these pole beans over here that are just starting to bear. And if you enjoy content like this, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. So here's today's harvest of green beans, and once again, it was five pounds of green beans. And of course, there's the carrots and a cucumber. There were two cucumbers, but uh, somebody ate one. <laughs> if you enjoy this kind of content and like to see more, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.